Hello beautiful humans, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tessa Stewart and today I will be doing a makeup tutorial for you guys. In today's tutorial, if you haven't figured out from the title, I will be creating this look using all black owned makeup brands. So with everything going on in the world today and more than ever people are acknowledging uh, racial inequality and injustices than ever before I figured I'd take the opportunity to um, highlight and showcase some black owned brands within the beauty industry because let's be honest there's just not enough representation of um, us uh, us melon heavily melanated <laughs> persons within the beauty community. And you know what? Our dollars matter. And I spend a lot of money on makeup. I love it, you know, I love beauty things. But over the last few years, I have been intentional about how I spend my money. So my husband and I started to um, buy black more and more probably a few years ago because we ourselves are black business owners. So we understand the importance of, you know, circulating that dollar. So I consciously made that effort and I'm proud to say that when I went to make this video, I literally only needed mascara. But there's plenty of us that if we went to do this video, we'd have to go out and buy all these things. And I don't want that to be the standard. I want the norm to be, we all have these things in our arsenal and we can pick and choose which items we want to use. So I hope that you enjoy this video. Um, that's the, about the heaviest this video is going to be because I've had enough heaviness with the, <laughs> with the quarantine and everything else. And I would love to use this video as an outlet just to let go and have a little bit of fun. So without any further ado, wait, before we go any further, make sure you hit that like button, the subscribe button as well with the notification bell so that you're alerted with all future uploads from me. And without any further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so I'm just gonna start off by applying Gabin to my face. It is the foundation by Juvia's Place. Now Gabin is actually too dark. So what I do is I kind of tone it down with their concealer in the shade number 12. I mix that in with the Gabin. All right, dark circles be gone. <laughs> So now I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place um, concealer in the shade 12, just a little under the eye. Middle, my forehead. All right, so we have that concealer there. Now I'm gonna go in with my contour color, which is gonna be in the shade Suede Mocha by Black Opal. Alright, so now I'm going to take my Morphe E8 brush and I'm going to blend in all of those, the contour that I placed on my face. Just going to buff that in using circular motions. So now I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm gonna blend in the concealer all around my face. I'm gonna start on my forehead and then just work my way down. So I just want to brighten up a little bit more. So I'm going to go back in with that black opal concealer in the shade Honey. I'm just going to put a little bit more in the middle of my forehead, right under my eye, where the pocket of that bag loves to rest. Right here. Stay back. Team Waters reclaiming my time. Stay away from respect since beginning of time. Every day a new scandal. Shonda Rhimes. Every day a new fight. More steps to climb. That's why I'm going off all the goddamn time. Bad enough we got. All right. Now, as soon as we get our under eye blended out, before it creases, before it has the opportunity to crease, we want to set it with our setting powder. 
and I will be using my Beauty Bakery flower setting powder in the shade Cassava. So I'm just gonna pat that in under my eye. Okay, now let's blend out the other side. All right, once we get that blended, then I'm gonna go in once again, Cassava. Just pat it in. We're not baking or anything. And then everywhere that you put that lighter concealer, you're just gonna put that setting powder. All right, so next I'm gonna go in and I'm going to basically bronze my face and set all the areas that I put the contour. Um, and I'm gonna be using my Fenty Beauty bronzer in the color Coco Naughty. So I just take my brush and I just like to pat that in. Just like that. So you're gonna place the bronzer wherever you want to bring that warmth back. Bring the dimension back into your face. So my bronzer is also gonna act as a so-called blush for today. I'm not putting on any blush, so I'm gonna put this all over my cheeks as if it was a, were a blush. A Little bit of that bronzer around the chin. So I like to take this little brush from Japanesque. I've had this so long, I don't even know. This is the 712 brush. Okay, so next I'm gonna take um, from Beauty Bakery. Again, I'm gonna take their flower powder in the color plantain or plantain, however you want, like to pronounce it. And I am going to brush that all over my face just to set every other area that I did not put any powder on. I'm gonna use that to set the rest of my face, so. Now we can get started on the eyes. So I will come back to the rest of the face later and put on my um, highlighter. I just want this portion of my face to kind of sit while I do my eyes. So I'm gonna place a little bit of powder right under my eye to catch any fallout. And then I'm going to start there. I'm just gonna place the powder lightly right here, just to make sure that I can brush away any fallout, okay? So just a little bit. So now that we've got our face prepped, we will start with the eyes. So I'm going to be going into my Juvia's Place Warrior 2 palette. And I'm going to be taking, I'm going to start off with the color Kufuru. And I'm going to place that within my crease, okay? But I'm cool. but I'm cool. So you want to start by applying that shade in your crease. You're gonna blend it out. You wanna keep it a little concentrated though because we're gonna be doing a cut crease today. And you just wanna bring that shade all the way in to the inner corner and blend up. Now this looks crazy, but we're just laying the color down right now. Okay, so now that we've placed that color down, we're gonna go into the same palette um, and we're gonna take the color Yodit and we're gonna blend out the top towards the uh, eyebrow. So now we're gonna take that color and just kinda blend out this harsh line right here. You just wanna diffuse it. You can get as close to the brow as you desire. But I'm cool. All right, so now we're gonna go and we're gonna cut the crease. So right a little bit above where my actual crease is, I'm going to carve that section out. Okay, yep, that's looking good. So once I do that, I like to blend um, that in. Usually I use my finger. I'll use a brush for today, actually. But you just wanna pat that concealer on smoothly and then also pat away any excess concealer. Okay, 
Okay, so now that you have the area of your cut crease cut out and blended where the concealer is, now we're gonna start laying our uh, colors back down. So I'm gonna take the color Kufuru and I'm gonna pack that on the outer edge of the eye. Everyday black girl, got a lot to prove. So I hustle, hustle, track now. Gotta bust a move. But I'm cool. But I'm cool. So now that we've got that color down, we're gonna go into our palette called The Nudes by Julius Place. And we're gonna take this color right here. I'm gonna place this color all over the lid, the middle of my lid. So that color you're just gonna put in the middle third of your eye and blend it in with that Kafuru color. Okay. And now, I'm gonna go in with this color, and this is gonna go in the inner third of the eye. Love this shade right here. So pretty. That is the shadow. Now we're gonna move on to, actually, we'll move on to the lower lash line now, okay? So we've gotten the shadow down. So I will go ahead and wipe away this excess powder. Right? Now we're gonna go in with, first I'm gonna take Back from that Warrior palette, the Warrior 2 palette, I'm gonna take the color Yodit, small brush, and I'm gonna blend that right under on the lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take a little smudger brush with the color Kafuru on it, and just concentrate that right on my lower lash line. Okay. So now that we have that down, now I'm gonna go in with my liner. So for liner, I'm gonna be using my Danessa Myricks uh, Color Fix in Blackout. I love this stuff as a base, liner, whatever. It's so multi-purpose, such a good product to have. And it comes in so many different colors and she also does um, foundation shades as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my mascara now. So the mascara that I'm gonna be using is by Pat McGrath Labs. It's called Fetish Eyes. I love a lot of mascara. So I'm gonna build up the heck out of this mascara <laughs> and you can watch. All right, so for the inner corner, I'm gonna go in with another color from the palette. Just plop that right in the inner tear duct. All right, so I'm still waiting on my lashes to dry. So I am going to apply my highlight here. Ooh, she blinding? So, now that we have that done, now we can attempt to put on these lashes. <laughs> Y'all pray for me. Lashes and I don't get along, my eyes water very badly every time I try. Lashes on. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on these lips. See, the lashes bring it together, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the Black Opal Color Bonbon. It's a lipstick, and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use that to line my lips. So truth be told, I have a strong habit <laughs> of using lipstick as lip liner, like brown lipstick as lip liner, simply because 
liners get dull and you can be out and about and let's say you're out to dinner you go to a touch up and your liner is not sharp and i don't have time to be worried about sharpeners so for myself on pers for personal use i just use lipstick as a liner so that's what we're gonna do so I hustle, hustle, track now. Gotta move, but I'm yeah it's a little better so i have a gloss by the lip bar card called bourgeois All right guys, so this is the finished look. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, make sure that you like it. Um, leave me a comment below. Let me know if there's any other looks that you would like to see. If you know of any other black owned brands um, that you love, list them in the comment section below. All the items that I've used in this video will be listed in my description box. The goal is to always have these brands on deck black owned brands period on deck to complement the other items that we have within our arsenal all right so i hope that if you're african-american and even if you're not okay because we make products for everyone every shade every skin tone every color okay so if you do not have any of these black owned brands i hope that you go out that you find something from each line that you like and that you would purchase it and support other uh, black business owners in their endeavors and um i'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button the like button and uh, the notification bell so that you get notifications with my future uploads and i will see you in the next video bye